Hi, Phil here in the SMC Development Lab. Today I'd like to answer a question that we uh, frequently get uh, by email or by text uh, messages is about the red and green flashing on an ESC. Right now this ESC is hooked up and you can see that the sensor wire is unhooked and as soon as we turn on the ESC it's going to start flashing the famous red and green. What does that mean? Typically that error is concerned with a sensor error. Here the ESC cannot read the sensor from the motor so it's giving us the error. Uh, this can either happen when we f start it up or during a run. It can also happen, we can see this red and green at the end of uh, uh, a radio uh, setting when we set the endpoints in the ESC. Um, typically we'll go through the typical well, the, the, ES, the radio setup procedure or the endpoint setup procedure and we'll get to the end of the uh, the setup and it'll start flashing red and green. People think that this is an error in the endpoint settings. It's not. At the end of the endpoint setting the ESC basically resets and turns itself back on. During that process it's going to check the sensors from the motor and we end up with this error. It is accepted if you get to this point uh, during uh, endpoint settings you and uh, your endpoints have been accepted by the, ES the ESC. There's no need to redo the procedure. It's just a question of making sure that our um, motor connection is correct. Here, as soon as I hook up the motor again, the ESC has read the sensors. You can see it's a dynamic setting. Uh, as soon as it re reads from the, the motor, it will start working normally. Typically, when we get this error, we have found that either we have a damaged sensor wire we have a disconnected or dislodged plug in the motor. The same thing happens often on the ESC, uh, especially in a, in a fun place where we're going to take in the battery in and out often. We can sometimes just catch the edge of the sensor wire and pull it out a little bit from the ESC, and that's going to give us the same error. Um, so three things to check as soon as you see this red and green are the condition of your wire itself. Make sure you don't have a nipped wire make sure it's plugged in properly into the motor, make sure it's plugged in properly into the ESC. Uh, I've never seen the problem uh, outside of either of those three things. Uh, typically if you don't find anything we change the uh, sensor wire and, and it goes away. Once or twice I've seen sensor boards go bad in the motor but that's a very very rare occurrence and uh, it's not specific to, to any particular company's motor. Sometimes after a really big knock, something's got to give, and it can be the sensor board within the motor, but that's pretty rare. So I hope that answers uh, your questions, and uh, those are the three things to look for as soon as you see that famous red and green flashing. Thanks. Speak to you soon.